He always smells so nice. Tiger had peed all over. When I get moody, I go to stationery shops. Good morning everybody, another beautiful day. It looks like there's something going on in the park today. So I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I made one with bread too because I feel like this won't be enough and I burned this side. I'm still gonna eat it though. Have a bit of guacamole because I want to get like the avocado toast taste. My favorite hot sauce is finished and it's top of the morning and mattress goes out again because somebody took a bucket load of pee. Sunday morning at the dollar store. <laughs> I also was not expecting to wake up this early today but I had to because my roommate said that Tiger had peed all of I came for other stuff but I got this one because all the cat toys in PetSmart are so expensive and this was only $9 so I'm gonna test it out if it's working It works! super hot good morning everybody it's been a few days i was so tired because it's my first week waking up at 3 a.m after work i just this is such a weird angle but the sun is it's too dark okay i was just so tired after work i just come back and i sleep but today i feel like i have a lot of energy and maybe because i've been sipping on some cappuccino the whole day but now i've got a pee just stopped at Michael. I need to get some more beads. My best friend, she said she doesn't have a Michael's where she lives, so she wanted to see. So yeah, see if you're watching. Here is what Michael's looks like. <laughs> everything you need for crafts and even you know the t-shirt printing so cool 
cool. When I was in college, when I get moody, I go to stationery shops and I don't know, I feel better. This is yarn galore. I know Yassi's into yarn these days. She would love this place. I got my stuff. Now I need to pee and poop. I made another bracelet. This time it's much bigger. But I just wanted to come here and talk a little bit because these days I've been feeling a little bit moody especially in the morning when I wake up. I don't think it's because I'm waking up at 3. It doesn't have anything to do with the time, I guess. It's just, I don't know. I think it's because I'm waking up to a part-time job that I don't see a future in and I feel like I'm wasting my time. But at the same time, that is the best option that I have right now to focus on my actual dream. I guess it's just the journey and sometimes when we feel like this, we fail to live in the moment. I saw a story that somebody posted. I don't know who the writer is, but it's um, called A Theory of Moments. I'll just read it to you guys if you're also going through something you know, if you feel like you're just wasting your days and if you are always waiting for the right time for things to happen, I'm, I'm just gonna read this. I have this theory about moments. I realize that every moment we imagine will be the best of our lives. It's really so. We wait 365 days for our birthday to come around only to realize it's just another day for everybody else. We anticipate Christmas, looking forward to the carols, the snow and presents only to remember how tired we get of the songs and the slush and how expensive it is to buy everyone presents. You get married to the person you believe will spend the rest of your life with you only to realize too soon that even your parents were never really soulmates. But, so this is the part, but the hike we got lost on, yeah, I'll remember that forever. That bouquet of flowers you bought me just because I've kept them in a box under my bed. That day we went to breakfast and were asked to leave for laughing too loudly. One of my favorite memories. The thing about moments is that you spend so much time trying to anticipate the best days of your life, not stopping to realize that today might have been one of them. If only you took some time to notice. And I felt this, I felt this, and I shared it with my best friend chatting right now about this. Especially back in the day, back when I was in uni, I feel like I should have just paused a little bit because we had a lot of amazing days. I'm just boiling up some of this wonton soup up, and I just reheated some rice leftover. Also made some egg. Mm. The star ingredient. So I was thinking maybe I should do Vlogmas this year and I have never done Vlogmas. <clears throat> so if you don't know what Vlogmas is, it's vlogging every day of December until Christmas. And I've seen a lot of creators do this and I've loved, I, I wait each and every day for their episodes. But I've never done it because I felt like I would be boring, I don't know, but this year I, I feel a little bit more confident to do vlogmas. Um, at least I'm gonna try. I mean, I don't know, I was trying to be even more adventurous. I was thinking, why not start from November? Is that too much? Like, I'll have to fully focus on YouTube if I'm doing that. <clears throat> and I need to make like a very strict 
schedule and the main reason i wanted to do daily vlogs through november is because of autumn when you start vlogmas it's you know winter time right and i feel like i mean although oxnard it'll be still in autumn even in december but um i don't know i like this weather the most like this month and probably the next month are gonna be my favorite uh, months for weather wise so i don't know i'm really thinking should i start from november 1st itself or will I just burn out and give up in the middle and never do vlogmas again? I'm not gonna be too strict on myself and I usually don't get comments on my videos but my last video I got a comment and I was so happy thank you so much you just made my day and whoever watching my vlogs just please be free to comment down below how are you guys doing is this your favorite weather it's 5 15 right now and i think i'm gonna go take a shower and wind down for the day